In this section, you are going to add members to your group calendar, which will let you view the calendars the sales reps have in their view of the site. If you have a large team, this also allows you to view the calendars one at a time rather than all at once to keep the view from being overly cluttered. Make a note, each time you open a group calendar, you need to add the people whose calendars you want to view. You can speed up this process by having your site administrator define a SharePoint group that contains all the members of the group you want to view. Now that you've created a sales group calendar, you want to add the salespersons as members. As the site owner, you have already created a SharePoint group called Sales Memb. Joe, Brett, George, and you are all in this group. To begin on the quick launch, click Sales Calendar. The default calendar view of the sales calendar opens. On the ribbon, click Calendar Tools, and then click Calendar. In the Selector section of the ribbon, under People, click the down arrow. From the drop-down menu that lists the available people and groups, click Sales Memb. Notice that Joe, Brett, and George are added under your name on the sales group calendar. This gives them permission to access and update the group calendar on their security-trimmed version of the Trains by Dave sales site. Make a note. After Joe, Brett, or George have updated the calendar with events on their sites, they can pull in a view of the sales calendar from any of the other members of the team, just as you did in the previous step. Next, in the Calendar Tools Calendar tab of the ribbon, Notice that there are two special group calendar views in the Scope section. The first group is the Day group, and the second group is the Week group. The Week group is the default view for the group calendar. As you can see, group calendars are a useful team and management tool.